This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.20.1. The D2L Tools Dropbox Use Assignment List Opt-in Configuration Variable has been removed, making the new assignments page for instructors on by default. This feature implements PI items D5124 and D5396. Online, corporate, and employee training courses from Biz Library are now available for purchase through D2L. Course content is downloaded as SCORM objects from the Biz Library portal. Thousands of courses are available in English as well as a large collection of content in French, Spanish, German, and Japanese. To enable, contact your D2L client sales executive. As of January 1st, Brightspace has ended support for Internet Explorer. All versions of Internet Explorer will no longer be able to access Brightspace. Brightspace Learning Object Repository, LORE, now supports sending packages to the new SCORM engine. No changes to SCORM version support with LORE have been made. You can select a SCORM package and upload it to any predefined LORE repository with the ability to preview the upload package. Once uploaded, you can also change the package name and defined language, create a package description, and add associated keywords. This feature is automatically enabled for new clients. Existing clients that wish to use the new workflow can request this change by contacting D2L support. Brightspace Pulse is now available in the following additional languages. Arabic, Chinese, Danish, French, German, Japanese, Korean, Swedish, and Turkish. Improvements have been made to Class List to improve ease of use. This feature implements PI items D508 and D4286. Instructors can now see the total number of users for their selections, whole class, section, and group, at the bottom of the class list page. Now, on the print class list and email class list pages, the clickable buttons now float consistently on screen. You can now define whether configuration settings can cascade to child org units. Now, the backend service uses the first value found in the following order. Explicit value set for the given org unit. For each org unit type in the cascading org unit type selection list. Check for a value while traversing up the given org unit's ancestor hierarchy considering only org ancestors that match the org type, the organization org value, and the system value. Note, any cascading org unit settings already set using the previous API method retain their settings and are visible in the configuration variable browser. Course Import now supports sending packages to the new SCORM engine. This functionality is automatically enabled for new SCORM users. Existing SCORM users can request this feature by contacting D2L support. This release includes new columns for existing Brightspace datasets. The Role Code column has been added to the Role Details dataset and the Is Hidden column has been added to the Competency Objects dataset. You must have the Can Access Brightspace Datasets permission at the org level and the D2L Tools Brightspace Datasets version configuration variable set to version 3 or 4. This feature implements PI items D5306 and D5567. 
instructors now have new multi-select options to publish feedback and retract feedback. In the status column, the draft published checkbox has been replaced by information on the date when feedback was saved as draft or published. The save, save and close, and cancel buttons have also been removed as their functionality has been replaced by the publish feedback and retract feedback options. This feature introduces the ability to sort exported gradebooks based on the following options. Org defined ID, username, last name, and first name. The sort options available are based on the user information privacy permissions for the role. This feature implements PI items D1058 and D1804. This feature includes three improvements to groups. Group members can now see the description of their group. Instructors can now increase or decrease the capacity for self-enrollment groups after they have been created and prior to the group sign-up expiry date. And instructors can also set start dates for self-enrollment groups. For more information, review the release notes. This feature implements PI items D1027, D373, and D3002. Levels of achievement are now automatically mapped to rubric levels. This functionality is automatically enabled for learning outcome users. To use the learning outcome suggestions feature, ensure that D2L, Tools, Learning Outcomes, LOA Suggestions is enabled for instructors. For more details on mapping configurations, review the release notes. To improve security and management for the client authentication process, D2L is transitioning to publicly signed certificates and communication over secure ports on client authentication servers using the D2L Lightweight Directory Access Protocol LDAP configuration. For more information, review the release notes. The Picture Library widget is no longer supported and is removed from the system widgets in Brightspace Learning Environment. To offer a more intuitive and updated interface for adding images to course homepages, the Photo Carousel widget is available within the Homepage Widget Expansion Pack. To purchase the Homepage Widget Expansion Pack, contact your D2L Client Sales Executive. Instructors can now dismiss activities in QuickEval. This feature implements PI item D5505. Instructors can dismiss activities using Dismiss Until to dismiss activities until a specified date or forever. Instructors can view dismissed items in the Dismissed Activities list from the More Actions menu and restore them to the Quick Eval list at any time. The default value for the D2L Tools, Quizzes, New Quiz Builder Experience, Configuration Variable is changing from Off to On, Opt In. You are still able to set this configuration variable to Off if desired. Quiz scores and feedback entered in grades now synchronize automatically with quizzes. The overall feedback fields in grades and quizzes are now consolidated and the Grade Item Public Comments field has been removed from Grades. All comments entered in the Overall Feedback field in Grades synchronizes automatically with the Overall Feedback field in Quizzes. Note, synchronization only occurs for new grade entries. Existing grade entries for quizzes will not be migrated due to the high impact of all past data and reports. This feature implements PI item D391. Reporting is now listed when you access organization tools and can be toggled off or on. The default setting for the D2L, Tools, Rubrics, Create Experience, Opt-in, Configuration Variable is changing from off to on. 
This configuration variable has three possible states, on, off, and on opt-in. The target date for turning this on and removing the ability to opt-out is November 2020. You can no longer edit the D2L, Tools, Rubrics, Updated Grading Experience, Configuration Variable. There is no impact to any client who has already set it to off or has not adopted the original rubric functionality. Changes to this variable will only be available for D2L support. When creating new rubrics, users can now share the rubric created at the organization level with other org units. This functionality is automatically enabled for rubrics users who have set the D2L Tools, Rubrics, Create Experience opt-in configuration variable to on. When instructors create new rubrics from the org level, they can now specify the org unit that they want to share with. In the user profile page, the following personal info fields are now limited to 4,000 characters each. Interests and hobbies, favorite music, favorite books, favorite TV shows, favorite movies, favorite quotations, favorite websites, future goals, and most memorable learning experience. Thanks for watching. We are always looking to hear from you about the videos you'd like to see. Drop us a comment below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.